cutting coves on, on a table saw. Here are some cove cuts I made on a table saw. Uh, they can be different sizes. Well, first we have to do some calculations. I'll use SketchUp for this. First thing we'll do is we'll draw a circle. I use a higher poly count like 96 and we'll draw a circle to represent the saw blade. Now my saw blade is eight and a half inches in diameter so I'll draw a radius of four and a quarter inches. This will represent the uh, saw blade. Next thing we want to know is the depth. Now I want to make a cove a quarter inch deep. So I'll draw a line a quarter inch down from the top. Next thing we'll do is we want to find the cord of that circle. So I'll draw a line to the right and one to the left. I'll clip the ends and then we'll measure that line. Okay and we come up with two inches point eight six two. Now your saw blade may be different diameter, maybe 10 inches, maybe 7 and a quarter, 8 and a quarter, whatever, you'll get a different dimension. Okay, this figure will be needed in the next step. Next step, we'll draw a rectangle. to represent a top view of that cord. So we'll plug in, first we'll plug in the width of the saw blade. Now I got a thin curved saw blade so that width will be 90 thousandths. And the length is 2.8 862 that's a top view next we'll draw a line across that at the center and we'll make that a component We'll call that cord. Next thing we'll do is we'll draw another rectangle. Make it bigger than the cord. And we want that to represent the cove that we're going to cut. In this case I want it to be three quarters of an inch wide. And I'll make it uh, three, three inches long. Uh, let me make that four inches long. Okay, then we'll draw a line through the center of that. And we'll make that a component. And we'll call that one cut.
All right, now the next thing we want to do is move that cut, grab the center here, and move that over to the center of the blade. Then we want to rotate that cut. And we want to rotate it over so it just touches the corner of that blade. Now it's simply the matter of measuring the angle with the protractor. And we come up with 3.311 for an angle. 3.3 is probably close enough. or rather 13.311, so 13 degrees. So now we know that we set the uh, angle of the fence to 13.3 degrees. I think 13 degrees would be close enough though. 